supernatural is something that isn't supposed to happen, but it does happen. There's two kinds of ball players. There's those with a lot of skill and a lot of talent, you know, and then there are those that are smart players, you know. And you don't necessarily have to have aggression, but you have to be smart about how you play. You should be trying to beat the guys that are the best at the sport so that you can take the sport to another level, as we say. I'm almost 30 now, you know, so it's one of those things where as the, as the game progresses, the, the people get better with it over time. And that's what we want to keep playing football now, because the more people we bring in from the states to help coach and to help train, the better the, the level of the players go, and then they have more basics later. So that when they've been playing for 10 or 15 years, they're almost as good as they are in the states after playing so long. I've been here for a little over three years now, and I came because when I was in the university, at University of Houston, uh, I met a girl, she was a swimmer. and. You know, one of those things, you know, I came over and visited for three, four Christmases and, you know, I came over and she talked me to coming over to, you know, to live and to train and have a good time and I got married and then I got divorced. It's one of those things, you know, so for me, it's, it's more of a sacrifice because I gave up a lot of stuff to come here and live in the first place, you know, but now that I've been here, I'm learning the language a little better. Uh, it's starting to grow on me and I'm starting to like the, the Danish way of life, so to speak, you know, so. The competition is getting much better than it has been, you know. The Towers have been champions for four of the last eight years, more or less, you know. And last year, we lost the championship in the final to Roskilde. But at the same time, uh, the players got better, you know, because the Towers have been so much better than everyone else over the years. And all of a sudden, there were some other teams that started giving the Towers good games and started playing better. So the level in the last two or three years has gone up phenomenally, you know. Maybe 50% better than it was uh, four years ago. So you can't say that the level's not better. It's, it's not on a professional level or World League football level, but it's getting there, though. Hey! You know, and it's about contact. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of contact in American football. I mean, there's usually an average of 77 plays on offense and maybe the same on defense during a football game. So that means if you're an offensive player, you may hit your offensive player 77 times during a game. That's a lot of time to hit one guy that weighs 150 kilos over and over. You got guys that weigh 150 kilos, 300 pounds, 320 pounds, uh, two meters tall, you know, and they're going against guys that weigh 160 uh, kilos and they're 2.1 meters tall. And these guys are running at each other full speed, just knocking the living daylights out of each other. And when you get that kind of impact, your body's not made for that sort of thing. You know, it's like driving your car into another car. People have never met before trying to get you to get aggressive and get pissed off. You get people talking about your sister, people like, your mother's so ugly, blah, 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 you know. And you got coaches that do the same thing to get you to get pissed off. But some people play better when they're angry, you know, when they're aggressive and some people don't, you know. So it's a lot of the game is psychological in American football. There's a lot of guys that don't go out and eat raw meat and, you know, go out and wrestle bears and stuff for a living, you know, that play American football. There's a lot of guys that do, you know. I mean, so it's, 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 it's just um, depends on who you are and where you come from and, and what your outlook on life is. American football and be able to hold their own against American football teams. I mean, not just Denmark, but I played ball in Germany as well a few years back, and they've had football for 20 years, you know, and Denmark has had it for eight or nine years total, you know, so it's, it's a different level of the game because they have more experience. The younger guys have been playing longer, so when they get to the age of uh, this league that we're playing in here, uh, they're much better, you know, because they have more basics than we have. So I wanted to have it that when the young guys play, they get all the basics they need, that when they get up to our level, then uh, they're that much better, that much stronger, that much quicker, that much faster, and they're that much smarter about the game. You know, and then the, we go to the States, we go over there and say, hey, you know, we beat the American at their own game, you know? You're falling on the ground, you got people stepping on you with these big, thick cleats, you got people falling on you, five, six, seven guys falling on top of you, you get you know, twisted ankles because you're in this big pileup and people are biting you and spitting on you. It gets rough, man. It really gets rough. And it's, but it's fun. We love it. We play it because it's a rough sport, you know.
okay? A lot of them do is they put the helmet on, like on the back of their head, and when they walk up to get ready to go, Okay. But what a lot of them do is they, they keep the helmet. Um, yeah. A lot of them keep the helmet on top of their head, and then when they walk to the line, they put it down. You look at your line like you're I ready. can't see anything anyway because you're sitting like this. Yeah. Okay. All you need to see is the ball. Okay? okay. When you walk up, have it sit on your head. Then when you get up to the line, you look around, you put it down. You know. And then you go set, hike. He'll hand you the ball, and then uh, you hand it off to him like I was showing you, right? Okay. Yeah. After you give the ball to him, you kind of run up in there and fall on top of everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't be shy. Yeah. 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 Looks better if it's snapped, though. He's going to give you the ball like that, and you step and put the right foot back and just hand it off, then follow okay. him in there, right? There you go. He likes that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Set! Oh! I'm going for it! Where I come from in Texas, it's a rough place, you know? And if you don't play American football, you're nothing. Your daddy's like, that's my boy. He, your mama's going, that's my boy. You know, they're in the stands having fights in the stands over you playing, you know? If your friend's uh, daughter or son is playing American football, because in Texas you can have women playing as well, you know? Then if they get hit by, by you, your mom is like, you hit my boy too hard, and they, get, they go to blows in the stands. It's so wild to watch people like that, you know? People here in Denmark, yeah, they play two or three, four years, and they think they're professionals in the game, you know? But the reason they think that is because the guys they play with are on the same level as them. You know, in the States, you always have a level that's better than you are. So when you start playing football in what they call a little league, so to speak, they have a little league football. It's like for kids that are 10 to 15 before you get to school. Because once you get to 7th grade or 8th grade in American high schools or American schools, you get school as part of your curriculum. You can get the sport as part of your curriculum. So you can choose the sport you want to play, football, baseball, basketball, track and field, whatever you want. It's part of the school. You get credit for it in your school and then a little bit after school. So uh, you've, you've started playing the game when you were a young kid and plus you don't have to pay for it in the States. You know, in the States they give you the equipment that you need. So here it's a matter of motivation. It's hard for people to say, okay, I want to go play that sport, but I have to go spend 3,000 kroner on equipment. And it's, it's a deterrent because pe most people are like, uh, oh, man, I, I got to pay to go out there and get beat up, you know? That's not fun for anybody, you know? It's one of the very few things that you go out, beat the shit out of somebody, and you don't get thrown in jail for it, you know, right after.